The question says magnetic moments of vanadium, chromium as well as manganese are x, y, z. Hence the order we have. Whether their magnetic moments is equal, ya greater than, ya smaller than. We have to compare. Okay. The formula to calculate magnetic moments we have mu is equal to under root n bracket n plus 2 and you need to use what? Bohr magneton. This is the formula we have. Bohr magneton. Where n is what? N we have number of number of unpaired electron. We have number of unpaired electron. And value is number of unpaired electron. So you can see magnetic moments value depends on n value higher the n value higher is the magnetic moments because higher the number of unpaired electrons higher is the mu value very simple so you can mention as the n value increases magnetic moment value also increases so we can calculate the total number of unpaired electrons in each element so then we can have the comparison based on this fact okay pay attention carefully we have vanadium its atomic number is what 23 we write the outermost electronic configuration from here we can get the unpaired electrons okay this three will go to d orbital we get three d three and two will go to s orbital we get four s two three three d three four s two is there now we can draw the orbital notation to find out the number of unpaired electrons we follow Hund's rule in d subcell how many orbitals are there five orbitals are there one two three uh, four five is there okay we have three d three and four s only one in four in s subcell we have only one orbital four s two is there so you can see three electrons one electron second electron and third electron is there in this case you can see it can accommodate maximum two electrons so it is completely filled in this case how many unpaired electrons are there single spin one two three you can see it is having three unpaired electrons we can mention it is three is there okay now we move on to chromium this is what cr is there is atomic number is 24 so in this case in general electronic configuration should be 3d4 this 4 will go to d orbital and 2 will go to s orbital 3d4 4s2 but due to due to to have to have the tendency to gain stability this d orbital start pulling one electron because this d orbital will be half filled so what happens exactly it becomes 3d5 it is what 4s1 is there okay now it is half filled so it will be in the unstable state so we do not consider this electronic configuration we consider this electronic configuration okay half fill rule is applicable here now if i draw the orbital notation so in this case we have how many orbitals are there five we have 3d5 one two three four and five is there and then we have four s in this case also one s is there so total number of unpaired electrons one two three four five and six are there you can see we got six unpaired electrons i think this is going to be maximum because beyond this any element cannot have more than six because it is also unpaired but anyway we go for the manganese so in this case atomic number is already given manganese atomic number is 25 if you write electronic configuration 5 will go to d orbital and s will go to s orbital is there okay 2 will go to s orbital 2 will go to s orbital now we draw the orbital notation so in this case of how many boxes are there five boxes in case of 4s only one so we have 3d5 is there follow the Hund's rule orbital should be filled with the electron with single uh, single spin first spin second spin third spin fourth spin and this is what fifth spin that's it and in the case we have 4s2 it is completely filled is there okay so now you can see total number of unpaired electrons so one two three four five we get total number of unpaired electrons five as we have learned higher the n value higher is the magnetic moments okay so in case of vanadium we got uh, three unpaired electrons in case of uh, chromium we got uh, how many un unpaired electrons six unpaired electrons and in case of magnesium we get how many five unpaired electrons are there okay so we have this is what x this is what y and this is what we have z is there so you can see y is maximum then we have z and then in list is what x is there y z x any such option 
y z x you can see y z x we have c option is correct y is having highest magnetic moments due to maximum number of unpaired electron if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel